Hey, Joe Sports Track here. I just wanted to basically give you guys an idea of what I have been doing for the last uh, couple of days. I've had a break from painting. The weather's been kind of cold, too hard to clean the brushes and rollers and so. So I decided to come back in here and play with this a little bit. I just wanted to give you a little showdown of what I've put together so far. I mean, it's your basic things. Reservoir that I picked up on eBay. Uh, going down into the little shore flow pump that I showed you on previous videos. Going into my 21 plate cell, which comes right back out, goes right back into the reservoir. The reservoir, the gas comes out from the top into my bubbler. Now the bubbler is also a bubbler. Uh, flashback protector. It's got the flashback uh, unit plugged into the top. This is an all stainless bottle. Uh, coming right out, of course, to be safe, I have another flashback protector. It's uh, the bronze wool stuffed piping. Uh, my meter that I was using, my oxygen meter, isn't really worth it. Uh, the reason being is Oxygen weighs approximately 15 grams per mole. Hydrogen only weighs about 2 grams per mole, so it doesn't have enough density to push the ball up to an accurate reading. I'm going to be making uh, your typical bottle measurement unit where how much gas goes into the bottle per minute. From there, it comes right out and right into just a bottle of water. Um, as far as the electronics go to this, and again, this is just the basic parts of it. It is not the math enhancer and all the relays that have to be installed. Over here is the unit that I built, which incorporates the uh, PWM along with the voltmeter and the ammeter. Just hooked up directly to a battery, which I've been playing around with it, so it's not really charge to capacity. Of course there's no alternator involved here so it's going to weaken down. Now I'll fire up. I've got the the motor actually connected to a little 12 volt converter um, just to give the battery a little more oomph. If you notice when you first turn on the unit and I'm going to put it on a very low setting practically about nine volts it's running and it's running somewhere in the vicinity of about maybe 10 amps you can see that the fluid is already moving throughout my lines bubbler you see a little bit of action in there and the bubbler is already making let me get in there close a pretty good amount of bubbles and this is barely 10 amps uh, no I'm sorry barely 15 amps now I'm gonna crank it up a little bit more to about a full 10 volts. Right now I'm pushing about 20 or so amps. And as you can see, I'm already pushing in a lot of bubbles here. bottle isn't the best for demonstration but now I'm gonna turn on the water pump the water pump I use I use just to keep the unit cool it doesn't really overheat at all in this bench application but I like to keep the fluid going just so that it stays cooler so as you can see I've turned it on and the water is flowing from the tank to the cell, out of the cell, 
to the pump, and then back to the reservoir. The remainder is the same. There's my gas production. Which is a pretty steady stream. You can tell here from the top, my little screen, I'm kind of difficult for me to show you. But there's a little screen going. And right now, this is under 12 volts. Now, in the car, it's going to run somewhere a little higher than that. I'm going to run about 13 volts or so at around 25 amps, which should produce a little more gas. And just to show you, this gas, there's no vapor. I'll put it even right towards the thing. It doesn't... fog up anything on the uh, unit. The reason for that is, in my stainless steel bubbler, I have from this hose, inside it, a brass stone uh, and the, uh, a 10% solution of vinegar and water to cut down any uh, steam that may be produced. Although I really don't see anything fogging up these lines here, I've got a one-way check valve just to be on the safe side but I really don't see any fogging of this line as far as heat goes uh, now I've run it for about two hours continuously late yesterday and it was doing pretty decent now I've got to get a measurement again on how much gas I'm producing here it seems to be considerable um, I mean it's not going to be any huge amount that's going to run the car obviously but uh, I should be getting it very least a liter a liter and a half per uh, minute of gas production which should be significantly enough to augment the gas and give me some gas savings well, this is HHO sport track and uh, this is my little unit that I'll be putting into my Explorer sport track have a good one guys